You want to buy a Minecraft server? Let's go ahead and do it at our company, Simple Game Hosting. Now, you can get to Simple Game Hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple, or just go to simplegamehosting.com. Now, once you're here, you can read through all the features and everything like that. You can add mod packs to your server, plugins, all that stuff, and customize the server any way that you want. Plus, there is expert live chat support there to help you out if you do have any issues whatsoever. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and purchase this server by clicking Get Started here. Now, you can select the packets that you want, for a vanilla server, I would recommend a 4 gigabyte server, depending on the amount of players you have. And if you are modding and have a modded server, want mod packs, 6 or 8 gigabytes is usually needed, again, depending on player counts. If you want more of a specific number, you can actually scroll down this page, and we have a RAM calculator here, where you can see if you wanted, you know, a vanilla server, you're at 4 gigs, a modded server with 5 players, and a medium mod pack, 8 gigs, that sort of a thing. It is a general rule, sometimes things can be more or less resource intensive, but usually the RAM calculator here gets you in a good place. For this server, let's just go ahead and grab ourselves a 8 gigabyte server because that's going to serve us pretty well with uh, players and a mod pack as well. In checkout, you can name the server if you want as well as choose whether you want to pay quarterly or monthly and then choose a Minecraft Java or Bedrock. Now, Bedrock Edition can have add-ons and things like that, but it can't have mod packs and stuff because, well, those just don't exist for Bedrock. We're going to be going with Java here. As far as what we want for the specific server, we'll go ahead and leave this on vanilla, but you can select mod packs or anything else that you want here. And even if you select one, you can always change it later. Also, the location will set automatically the one that is best for you, but if you wanted to change it, you can click here and select a new location. We're going to leave that as is. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and click continue and go through the purchase process. Click check out, and from there, you can go ahead, enter your information, and purchase the server, which is what I'm going to do. I'll see you after a quick jump cut to show you what it looks like once you've purchased. Once you've purchased, you will be taken here, which gives you some information on what to look out for. Specifically, you want to get an account created email that's going to be coming to your email, obviously, and I'll show you what that looks like. But we also have some helpful videos here. You want to add mod packs? You want to add mods? Well, they're right here. You want to get started with your server and just get a complete guide on that? Well, the video you're watching now is kind of like that, but there's also this one here as well. As far as the account created email goes, it's going to look like this. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just got to set up your account button and that's what you'll click. Once you click that link, it will take you to something that looks like this. I already have an account, so this is actually the reset password thing, but it's very, very similar. You just enter your new password, confirm the password, and then click create account, right? Or reset and, and you'll be in your account. It will automatically log you in. When you do, it will look like this. So this is basically all the servers that I have. Um, I have a lot of servers. All you need to know is this is the one that we just bought. If you don't name your server, it'll be named SGH Minecraft server. And to join it, just click manage server here. And here's the IP address right here. You can click on it to copy it. And once you click on it, you can go into Minecraft and join it. Just go into multiplayer, add the server just like you would any other. And we'll name this how to buy server. Click done. After a few seconds, it will go out, find the server. Always takes longer the first time that you are trying to find the server. And there it is. Double click to join it. And now we will join right on in to this server. It's that quick and that easy to join your server. And boom, we're now online. And we can actually come back into the console and be able to see I have joined here. The IP address here is covered up because, well, we don't want to give that out. But nevertheless, you can see that Nix Games has joined. Now, at this point, the server is online. But we talk a lot about mod packs because that's a super popular use case, playing mod packs with your friends. So I just want to quickly show you how easy that is. So you want to go ahead and stop this server. Once the server stopped, I always recommend just going to the file manager and just deleting everything here. Well, because it's just easier to get a fresh start with a mod pack. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that's the best way. Then you can come over to the mod packs tab and oh, here are all the amazing mod packs that we have. There are tons of them and we're updating our installer, making it better all the time, adding new mod packs, all of that stuff. Stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, do Sky Factory 4 here because, well, it's a lighter mod pack. It'll install quicker for this video. And yeah, we can just go ahead and click install. Yes, and boom, now the mod pack will install. It's that easy. The only thing that you need to know is you'll need to play the mod pack locally in order to join the server. So, an example of that is this is a Curse Forge mod pack. So, we would open up the Curse Forge app. We have guides on how to get Curse Forge not only at Simple Game Hosting, but also on the breakdown. So, it really is covered everywhere, no matter how you look at it, if you will. Or how you want to find it come in here though and click install it will install this and we need to launch this mod pack via curseforge in order to join the server otherwise it won't work but nonetheless once the installer is finished here in the background the running the installer pop-up will disappear and we can go back to the console tab and start the server and now your server is running modded minecraft specifically the mod pack you installed sky factory 4 in this case and all we've got to do is open up minecraft locally with it so i'm gonna let this finish installing just open this up to sky factory and then joining it is just like any other server 
The only difference is you have to install the mods locally. Unfortunately, that's just a limitation of modded Minecraft. The server is online. We can go ahead and click to copy the IP and Sky Factory is open. Click multiplayer, add a server. We will name this the simple game hosting server and then go ahead and click done. Just like in vanilla, after a few seconds, it will go ahead and resolve, find the server. You can actually double click on it while it's doing this and it will still join the server, but it's always nice to sit here a second, let the server find itself and connect basically to your Minecraft client. With modern Minecraft, it's going to take way longer than it does with vanilla Minecraft as you're seeing kind of right now, but there we go. It's now online and we can double click on it and join right on in. The reason it takes longer with modern Minecraft, by the way, is because, well, there was that check and basically that's saying, hey, the mods are there. It's compatible. You're good to go. And uh, well, it takes a second for all that to uh, kind of happen in the background while the server is loading. But nevertheless, now you double click on the server and it joins on into it where you can start playing Sky Factory or any other mod pack that you installed. This works with better Minecraft and all the mods and all the most popular Curse Force packs and many of the ones that aren't necessarily in the top packs as well. Hundreds of packs are supported, but yeah, there you have it. That is how you can buy a Minecraft server in 2024. Now, one thing I do want to mention here, while everything went great, sometimes you run into issues, especially if you're going to add your own mods, which you can 100% do. You can come to the versions tab, you can install Forge, you know, you can install Fabric, whatever you want with that, you can do it and you can go and install your own mods directly here by just adding them into this mods folder, right? But occasionally you'll run into issues if you do that. And that's why our live chat support team is there to help you out. So you can come over here, start a chat and speak to a real person. We don't use any AI or anything like that for a live chat and get some help with any issues that you may be having with your server. If for whatever reason you click that start button and the server doesn't start, reach out to the support team and they will help you out. So nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and enjoy your simple game hosting Minecraft server. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.